Hello girls, we're going to continue with our story called Crazy Paella. And we're in chapter four. So with your help, we are going to read uh, the story. So Therese, would you like to read the vocabulary which is on the uh, screen now? Okay, vocabulary. Dinner, a main meal in the evening or in the middle of the day. Receptionist, a person that sits at the entrance to an office or building and directs visitors. Leaf, a small box that takes people up and down in a building. Fade, an unknown and uncontrollable power that seems to make things happen. Being taken aback, to be surprised, often in an unpleasant or unwanted way. Impossible, not possible, not able to do or happen. Right, thank you. Now, Nia, your turn. Yes, realize to know and understand something that you did know, did not know or understand before. Oh, awkwardly. Awkwardly. Yeah. Awkwardly. Awkwardly. Awkward. Lee. Awkwardly, awkwardly, in an odd or uncomfortable way, celebration, a happy event or party, burst out laughing, to suddenly start to laugh, un dia, un dia loco. <laughs> Un dia loco, a Spanish expression meaning a crazy day. So that unusual word there is awkwardly, something that you don't feel very comfortable about. Okay, awkwardly. So maybe you are with a few people and they're not your friends or you don't know them. You could say, oh, I felt uh, awkward. I didn't feel comfortable in the presence. Okay. So, Teresa, please start to read The Return. Okay, chapter four, The Return. The man and I talk little on the ride to Barcelona. I don't mention that I may know his son. At last, the paella loca lorry arrives. The driver turns off the engine. The old man and I get out the back door. The old man hides among the people on the street. I thank the driver. You're welcome, he says. Have a good day. I turn around. The old man is looking at the restaurant. It's La Paella Loca at last. We both go in. No one is there. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It is still too early for dinner. What do you want to do? I ask the man. I'm not hungry, he replies. I want to go to my son's flat. Do you want to come with me? Sure, I reply. Yeah. Yes. The old man has Amendo's address. We take the number 35 verse in silence. Then we walk towards Amendo's flat. He still doesn't know that Amendo is my friend. Amendo doesn't speak about his father very often. I know Amanda and the man have met never. At this point, I just can't decide, should I tell the man that I know Amanda? Should I keep it to myself? Finally, I come to a conclusion. I will keep quiet. I want the meeting to be a great surprise. We arrive at the class and walk through the front entrance. Good afternoon, says the receptionist. Hello, we reply. The old man moves towards the receptionist. He wants to ask for Amandor's flat number. Leave it to me, I say. We take the lift up to the third floor. We get out. We walk towards the door of the flat. It's here. 
I say to the old man. Right, the word receptionist, right? Receptionist. 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 Yes, it's quite complicated, right? Receptionist. Right, Therese. How do you know? He asked. Finally, I explain. I tell him that I have known Armando for years. It was just luck or fate that he and I were in the same lorry. At first, he can't believe it. Then he accepts his fate. He can't wait to meet his son. We ring at the door, but there is no answer. Julia, Armando, I call. Is anyone there? Again, nobody answers. I explain that my sister and I are staying in the flat. Then I take out my key and open the door. Where are they? The man asks. I don't know, but they should be here soon. We go into the flat. I find my mobile phone charged. For the next 15 minutes, I charge my phone. After, I call my sister. Julia's phone rings once. She answers quickly. So you can imagine the man has never met his son, so he must be very anxious uh, at the thought of meeting him. Right, yeah. Daniel, finally, mom called, but I was so worried. Hello, Junior, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm at Amanda's flat. I'm with someone. Who is it? Well, it's a long story come back to the flat where are you i talked to my to mom this morning she told me about valencia um Amanda and i waited for you all night we just went out for lunch we are on our way back now okay well wait for you here half an hour later, Armando and Julia arrive at the flat. Hello, Daniel. Daniel, hello, Daniel. We are so happy to see you, says Armando. He, he turns to the old man. And who are you, he asks. Before the man can reply, I say, um, Amanda, I have something important to tell you. What's going on? He asks. Armando, this is your father, I say. At first, Armando is taken aback. My father? That's impossible. The old man looks at him. Are you Armando? He says. Yes, I am. You can possibly be my father, Armando replies. My name is Antonio Sotomonte. Yes, I'm your father. The man explains everything to Armando. Armando soon realizes that it really is his father. He hugs the old man awkwardly. After so many years, they have finally met. Both men are not sure what to do. Finally, Armando smiles and says, well, I guess this calls for a celebration. I agree, says his father, Antonio. Shall we go to La Paella Loca? La Paella Loca. Yeah, says Julia. Uh, one oh. minute, I pressed the wrong button. Yeah. Yeah. I look at Julia. I'm, su I'm surprised. No, I don't want paella. I never want to eat it again. She looks at me and laughs. I don't want to go near that restaurant. I continue. And I don't want to get on a bus for a long time either. I want a pizza. They all burst out laughing. They all burst out laughing. After a moment, I laugh too. Was a crazy day, I said. Yes, replies Antonio. Un dia loco, a crazy day indeed. Right, so if nobody has read chapter one, two or three, they don't really understand why it's so funny. Right, Therese. 
Chapter 4. Review. Summary. Daniel and the old man arrive in Barcelona. They go into La Paella Loca restaurant. Nobody is there because it's early. Then they go to Armando's flat. No one is there either. Daniel charges his phone. He calls Julia. She is out with Armando. Julia and Armando come back to the flat. Daniel introduces Armando to his father. They decide to celebrate with a dinner, but Daniel doesn't want paella. He wants pizza. So he went to Valencia by accident. And uh, of course, the paella and Valencia, this brings back ba uh, bad memories. Right then, the first question. Off you go, Nia. The old man. Mm. Yeah, the old man and Daniel go first to um, to Amanda's flat. Mm. I thought they went to the rest. Okay, then, to Amanda's flat. Next, today. Okay. When they get to the flat, mm, no one is there. No one is there, correct. And the next one, Nia? Uh, the first thing, Daniel, there is a... Um, charge his uh, mobile. Yeah, he needs to charge his mobile, right? Okay. Next, Daniel calls uh, Julia. Mm -hmm. uh, for the celebration, you uh, suggest they go to the great, I'm uh, sorry, the crazy Paella. Paella. Paella, right. Okay. So, Thank you girls for helping me to read another chapter of the crazy paella. Uh, have you ever eaten paella, Teresa? Yes, I, yes, I do. Do you like it? Uh, well, depending on the kind of paella, at home we make it with chicken and vegetables. So for me, I it's delicious. Right, so there's over 50 different kinds of paella and then also depending on the family. Yes. Um, where you live near, do they eat uh, rice dishes with meat inside it or is it separate? Mm. Usually we eat we, just eat rice and Meat and separate. On different dishes, no? Yes. And then it's up to you to have a little bit of each one. But you don't mix them, no? Yes. Right. So maybe one day we will make paella together, Nia. Yes. <laughs> and you can try that new experience. Yes. Right then, girl. I'm oh, sorry, Nia. Go. Yeah, I, I, will, I will Google it and I will try. But I don't know. No, but you have to like the mixture of rice with meat or vegetables together. And you can make a simple one, which is tomatoes, peppers, garlic, and chicken. Do you eat chicken there? Yes. So if you like those few ingredients that I mentioned, uh, maybe you would like paella. There are more complicated ones, but that is the most simple one. Yeah. And today, do you know how to make it? I I never try. I um, I try to do the just the normal rice, the white one. Yeah. We tuna um some vegetables and at least I think I do it well. Yeah. So the white rice is also very popular here for children and young okay. people. We just make a very simple white rice, but we normally put tomato with it. No. And you said you like it with tuna. Tuna from a tin, I imagine, no? Tin tuna. I a metal tin. A, a tea? Tin. T-I-N. Tin. Tin. So the tuna, you open the tin uh, yes. and you take yeah. it out. So it's called chin. Oh, we can't say it. Oh. Tin tuna. For, tin for, tuna. Tin like a tuna, tuna put in a can, a little yeah. can. That's it. Yes. So she would have opened the can or opened the tin and then took mm -hmm. out the tuna and mixed it with the rice. No? Uh, yes. 
No, that's what she likes doing. Well, it's very simple to make a paella. I used to make one every Saturday, every Saturday, uh, yeah. because it was like um, a family get together and we used to sit down. But when you make paella, you have to sit down when it's cooked. You can't leave it because yeah. otherwise it doesn't taste very nice. So as soon as it's cooked, you have to sit down because the rice can go overcooked, no? So if I say half past two, you have to be in my house for half past two, uh, because as soon as it's finished, I'm putting it on the table and we have to sit down. So girls, thank you for coming. Thank you for helping me read the next chapter in our book. So I will say, toodaloo. Bye. <laughs>